violence of action. If you go to look it up, the definitions focus on military and law enforcement use of the tactic. Why? These are the areas the term comes from, yet you can see this strategy or tactic being used by people with no formal training. Why? It works, and there isn't much new under the sun. For those of you who know what we are discussing, yes, I am going out of order, and for some, I haven't even mentioned one of them yet. I know there is a method to the madness, though. The idea of violence of action is to rapidly and overwhelmingly end the engagement, which the internet seems to agree is a military and law enforcement application of the concept. After switching the way of asking the question to the internet, I found one case of the internet saying the concept can be utilized by criminals or the bad guys, which I found interesting and odd. Particularly since you can see examples of this everywhere on the internet, over and over again you can see video or read stories of bad guys trying to quickly overpower or neutralize their victims, using the very concept most don't see the connection to. Quick, unexpected violence is the most common you see, which causes one way or another for the opposition to be unable to respond. This is commonly accomplished by bringing overwhelming force or numbers to the fight, which will cause the victim to be unable to deal with everything at once. In most cases, the bad guys will attack with multiple punches or kicks or attempt to knock out or force the victim to the ground. This can be accomplished simply by the size of the attacker or by several attackers simply running over the victim. In both cases, the violence continues while the victim is in a bad position. In lots of cases, weapons are utilized by the bad guy to increase the threat and level of violence a person faces with the same concept in mind, to overwhelm and force the victim to do what the bad guy wants. In all these cases, the idea is to overwhelm the defender with the intensity and the level of violence they face. Add this into the use of tactics such as an ambush or other tactics that we discussed and it becomes difficult for the victim to deal with the attack. For those of you who have been with us for a while, these last photos should show tactics we have discussed before. How do you cope with this? Training. And since your training for real world defense takes into account multiple assailants and weapons. As always, stay safe.